Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access this feature layer, which is hosted in ArcGIS Online. Uh, it's called Battlefields, and it's from Historic England, which is a, a free and open data set that you can download from the Historic England site. Um, I mean, obviously, with, with a lot of this um, data that's free, um, th there are WMS services out there. There are other direct services you could use, certainly. With a WMS, there's probably some performance issues there. So you might want to think about putting putting it in, in Argus Online, or there might, might be other reasons. But um, uh, but the key thing here is is to, is what I'm going to show you is the fact that okay you have some data in Archis Online, how can I see it in QGIS? Um, the key part of this is security, and that's really what you've got to think about with 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 what I'm showing here, um, because the way to do this is to edit share, so you go to share here. And I've actually granted everyone outside the organization. I mean, that's a public access that I've got there. So you've got to do that in order to go direct from QGIS for you know any, anyone to see it. Now, if you port all the Argus Enterprise and stuff, that's fine because th that would actually sort of permeate through your organization as well. So it would just be an open um, uh, data set, uh, a bit like organizational. Um, so you'd be fine, but I'm I'm in this sort of public hosted uh, world uh, of Esri Archers Online, so anyone can can now access uh, this feature service. So it's already shared with everyone. There, see, I've got the globe, um, the the world there. Sorry, and it says sharing level public. So that's the key thing you've got to do here. So this was just a shapefile I downloaded. I uploaded it to my content, and then it automatically publishes a feature. So how do you get into QGIS? Well, down here's the URL. So hit copy. So now it's on the clipboard. Go to QGIS. You'll see ArcGIS feature service down there. Let me just confirm what to, I'm using Hanover. Okay, so that's 316. That's Hanover. Um, so I'm gonna do a new connection. I'm gonna paste the URL in there. You see that's gone, gone in the URL bit. And the name is Big Old. Battlefields um, from Historic England. Uh, it's public, so there's no authentication going on. Again, security, key aspect here, you're gonna have to think about that. I'm just showing you what's possible, <laughs> not that it's the right thing to do. There has to be a overall security tr strategy here. So I press okay, and now you'll see it in my browser. You see it there, there you go, Battlefields, nicely named. It's always good to name these things. I click down and sure enough, there's battlefields. Double click and it's added to the map. Let's zoom out a bit, you can see some. This raster backdrop is Orbis. Um, I use Orbis as standard really, rather than OSM or um, any other public stuff, the Google stuff, it's, it's just, uh, Orbis is much, much, much better to look at and um, symbology wise seems uh, a lot better as well. So just generally. Um, so here are my polygons. Let's just um, click the info, click on that one. So that's, what's that Bosworth? Is it? it is. Battle of Bosworth Field, 1485. Oh, that's a, near to Leicester. So that's uh, um, a, 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 uh, something of interest to many. Um, and you've got a hyperlink here. So if I click on it and it goes straight to the historic England so they're the folks who, who made this data, they own it. Um, and that's where you can get a lot more info about scale, etc., and some good um, historical details as well. So it's a pretty good uh, um, uh, data set, really. So you can uh, use use the um, normal tools within QGIS. Um, so, so uh, for example, we can go to Battlefields, Properties, uh, labels, use single labels, and let's just use the uh, uh, name. Right, you should get, there we go, Battle of Toten. Um, so those all work, and of course you can see the attributes. So the attributes come through, note editing is disabled, you cannot edit this, um, but you can do 
um, you know, usual querying and zooming on selected and all, and all that sort of thing. Anyway, hope that's useful. But like I said, you've got to bear in mind the whole security model of this. Um, but I uh, hope that's useful anyway. Thanks. Bye.